Hey, welcome back to uh, lesson three of our social media series. Uh, once again, I'm Don Michael Diamond, national sales trainer. Also, uh, what I want to talk about as far as social media is concerned is some of the do's and don'ts that you, you don't want to do. Now, putting up still photography on uh, your Facebook or whatever social media site is fine, but actually video works absolutely the best. You're going to get 50 times more response using video than you will using still photography. And the one thing you definitely don't want to do is you don't want to put car trash out there. That means advertising a special or something like that. You know, hey, I got this great car for $19.99, whatever. Honestly, nobody cares and you're not going to get much response out of it. When it comes to branding and how to and do things like that, um, it all is going to work together. I mean, it all is going to work hand in hand. It's good to put up a picture of a vehicle that may be a specialty vehicle that you like or maybe are interested in. Go ahead, take a shot of it, but make sure that your name, your email address, and your location tag is on so everybody knows where you're at what, and what you're looking for or what you're looking to do. But it's always better to have your picture in that video, or I'm sorry, your picture in that picture than just a car by itself because you want to brand yourself also. The next thing is when you're doing the videos, keep them short and sweet. Like I said in the last couple of lessons, keep them under three minutes. A minute video is the best. And obviously using the how to videos is always going to give you a lot more response than anything else. You know, showing somebody how to use the navigation or the sunroof or how to change a tire or just going over and doing a mini walk around all the way around uh, on the vehicle itself and showing some cool features, especially when a new model of a particular brand comes out, that's always gonna be better no matter what. So in your social media tags, if you can, you wanna make sure that you get the customer in the picture with you or the little 30 second video that you do and like it and share it on their Facebook page. That's the key thing is send it to them, have them post it with your information on it so they can like it and share it to all of their friends. Doing it on their Facebook page is a lot more important than doing it on the company or your page in a whole. So do your best that you can, especially when the customer's hot, they're excited, they got their new vehicle, say, hey, look, we're going to do like a 30 second um, testimonial on how you like to purchase, how you like your vehicle, and then just do a, a quick, short, sweet interview, use a selfie stick or whatever you got, or have a buddy help film you. But once you do that, make sure you put it up on your site. And then also, definitely, you want to make sure it gets on your customer's Facebook page and they like it and share it and mention that in there. But you want to make sure your information is prevalent in there so people know how to get in touch with you. So this kind of keeps the whole car spam, car trash out of it of advertising specials and all that kind of stuff which doesn't work so don't don't try and do that anyway we're going to hit you up in the next video and give you some more information so good selling and god bless you